Da 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 da. Wait, no, not that one. Oh, wait, but you knew which one that was. Yeah. Welcome back to another exciting episode of AI Squared. AI Squared, but. Well, now it's maybe cute. With a little extra. intelligence, with a little bit extra artificial intelligence today. Is it more intelligence or artificial? It's artificial. Yeah, more artificial. Crap. Why but, am I uh, here then? But we do our best. Okay. My intelligence today is going to be really good. Oh, yeah. I know a lot about what we're talking oh, yeah. about. I'm pretty much the pro of this group. Mm -hmm. Honest moment, I would say I've it's never like seen any Star Trek movies. The, I'm, I'm just here for, um, for comic relief. Well, I we realize. also be... Mediating, oh, geez. mediating this conversation today. Mm, yes. I won't be taking a side. Mm. So Hannah's gonna maybe flip flop back and forth. Or just not take a side. And side. Bobby and I are going to staunchly defend to the death. Yeah, here. right. There should be some punches thrown. I'll move out of the way. Yeah. John's taller and has a longer reach, that's not fair. Um, okay, not so my first point, okay. as I sang out in the beginning, is the soundtrack of Star Wars. Mm. is much more uh, iconic. I don't know. I guess I don't even know the theme of Star Trek. But everybody yeah, knows the, 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 the theme here. of Star Wars. It sounded just like that. Same thing? Yeah. No, well, it's similar. <laughs> um, so, I don't I don't know who wrote Star Trek. The, Let's the play it. It actually I, has I'll words. You, you, you find it. It actually has words. It's like an anthem? It's It has like the secret, anthem? it has like secret words that no one ever really knows that were written for it. Wow. Yeah, oh has, it has secret words to it. Okay. Do you know them? So, no, I know it has a lot of like, remember me. I really kind of shouldn't like be doing this, it. but this is an awesome point for you. Mm -hmm. The, I was thinking about how Star Wars is so ubiquitous. Everybody knows who's, what Star Wars is, what's it about, all mm -hmm. the characters. No, no you gotta go classic. Stuff. Say yeah. like a like, TV series. Stop it. I can't do anything. Yeah, you can. There. Okay. A point in the favor, I think, of Star Trek, and maybe it's my slightly hipster genes speaking right now, but... Slightly hipster genes? Star Trek J -E -A -N -S is elite. J-E-A-N-S or G-E-N-E-S? Like, -E your face. Okay. The, like, it's, it's like, almost like a Doctor Who following. Like, not everybody knows about it. I mean, it's there. It's, That's a good point. But it's, it's there. Yes. But, but it's like elite. Okay, but elite. that doesn't make it worse. No, nope, it, it, it makes it better. Because oh, yeah, my better. thing, like, Star Wars is awesome because everybody knows about it. Right. But, okay, cheaper. so now Disney has it. And everybody has it. Like, you can buy Star Wars stuff on your cereal boxes. And that, to me, is a little like... Yeah, but it, it kind of started all with Star Trek. I mean, Star Trek started in, in 66 Star with Star Trek the series. was the first. It was, it was it's the, by far the first. Your fans have the name Trekkies. What do you call Star Wars fans? Warsies. I would, yeah. Ooh, like, definitely. Definitely. We should take I'm, an internet poll on that hashtag one. Hashtag Warzies. Warzies. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Um, it. I. I can't. You can't. I don't think you can make the claim that it's elite and that not too many people know about Star Trek as opposed to Star Wars. I'm. I'm just saying not as. If you say Captain Kirk, it's like are people gonna know who that is? Not I think people. even even people who don't haven't seen any of Star Trek. If you said Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock, or. Long live and prosper. I, I mean, people know what know that's about, right? Know Star Wars. What's the Star Wars? Scene? Probably the younger generation wouldn't know as much as Star Wars, and that's again, that's a part of it. So, so yeah, as, so as much as they, the younger generation knew not know as much Star Trek. Because Hannah said, like the fifth graders wouldn't would know, know who Captain Kirk is. So they would I, know who I, Darth I even is. have a fifth grader instance who he's going around doing like, uh, "May the Force be with you." He's yelling okay. that, and his dad asked him. Do you know even know what that's from? He goes, no, I just hear kids saying it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a fifth grader. Yeah. So, throwing that out there. Fair point. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I mean, not all of them know. That's, yeah, okay. None of them are 100% across the board universal. But I would argue that Star Wars is more popular. To, to, that end, to your soundtrack end, yeah. you have John Williams. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I give I concede the point to, to the great John Williams. I concede. It's hard to beat I that even, guy. Like, yeah. find the theme song. Also, it's like um, boop, 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 so it's kind of maybe similar even. 
we'll put clips at the like, end if we're not yeah, we'll infringing put links on in, copyright. We'll, yeah. we'll put uninfringed links in the description. Videos that are like, everything wrong with this Star Trek movie. <laughs> everything wrong. Okay, but, but speaking to the popularity end, okay. yeah. there's been 12 Star Trek movies released. Yes. To date, they have grossed $102 million. Wait, are you No. $1.23 no. uh, okay. Which means that per movie, they have come in with $102 million. Mm. Yep. Now, Star Wars has only come out with seven movies, and they've netted, or gross, I think it's gross, both of these figures, are $5.76 billion, which yeah. means that per movie, they make almost eight times as much as yeah. a Star Wars movie, yeah. or a Star like, Trek. That goes like directly with the point before, because I feel like more people know to go see Star Wars. Anyway, uh, okay, so there's, there's a fundamental difference, I think, between Star Trek and Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is the science of Star Trek and the magic of Star Wars. Yeah. Now, for this is totally a personal preference, yeah. but I much more enjoy the magic because it's, to me, it's more imaginative, it's more inventive. Mm -hmm. um, that isn't to say that I don't enjoy Star Trek, because I love science. Um, but as someone commented on Hannah's post the other day, science is inherently limiting what you can do then with the series. Agree, disagree. Limiting What's what you take? can do with the Star Trek series? Quote unquote, the scope. Sure. Um, so, like, what Star Trek does in the, in the very beginning and kind of what's set as a precedent with the, with the technical, I mean, it... it it gave realism to something that people didn't think was reachable or was interesting. Sure. So it gave it gave in you know early on kids who like this is really cool and interesting. And by the way, there's actual science behind it, and you can learn maybe some of the reasons why they call you know a deflector shield a deflector shield, or what they what they call warp drive, and what are the theories behind all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, and why there's actually a theory behind that, and what's a black hole, and how does time work, and it actually gave maybe kids more interest in science, um, and progressed. I know you could probably lots of kids, and even in NASA too, uh, interest in um, astronomy and, and 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 space exploration too. So it, it's it's kind of like. They're, they're, they're going after two different things. Yep. So it's hard to compare because while it's, it's maybe limiting, it's, it's only limiting on what we know tomorrow. And, and I wouldn't say like coming up with deflector shields. and They've never been limited in the science. They've gone beyond That's the true. science. Yeah. So they've like, we'll take a general principle and then we'll explode it out into to craziness, right? So and I maybe it was limited say, in the 60s, but when they got into TNG and got into Enterprise and Deep yep. Space Nine, they, wouldn't, they weren't ever really... Yeah, I would definitely to. say that Star Trek has maybe been a boon to the scientific community to get some traction and momentum. And yep. I, In my notes, I compared Star Trek to NASA Gone Wild. Yeah. I, it's just like, how far can we take this? And there are some things... <laughs> there are some things that Star Trek envisioned... That the technology is coming up with. Yes. So like tractor that hasn't beams, happened with tractor Star Wars. beams is actually happening. Like, right. Where lightsabers are Wait, stuck. Tractor to... beams. Does that have something to do with like farming? It's close, <laughs> but it's it's really not close. It's more like moving not things. Helpful. Yeah. It's it's like we can close, move we can move atoms with lasers and stuff like that. Nothing to do with tractors. Not like uh, uh, also the uh, the beaming teleportation. Mm -hmm. Has there been any? I don't way? think there's been like. There's been great debates online about like, is it the death machine? Right. Because if if like you beam me up, Scotty, you do any of that. Is there um, consciousness that's lost? Yeah. Every time. Yeah. The the argument that it's a suicide box is is a fantastic. Other links in the description. Mm, yeah. I'm saying this like I own AI squared and make any decisions about <laughs> that, but I'm just the guess. It's all right. We get some fresh blood. Today. Um. Yeah. So. As I see you have notes on lightsabers versus phasers. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. yes In my opinion, yes. these are the the uh, epitome of the weapons in Star Wars versus Star the Trek. Epitome. Wow. The epitome. Of the weapons. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, my thing, like, I saw the first Star Wars movie when they re-released them in theaters. I was, like, maybe 10, mm -hmm. 9 or 10, and I had to have a lightsaber. Yeah. And I, I've seen the Star Trek movies. I was fairly young when I saw the first ones. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to Did not it. care about the phaser so much. Yeah. Never had a phaser. There's something... I don't know. I have had a lightsaber. I mean, I, I think it harkens almost a little bit to um, 
the kind of sword and sorcery. Yeah. Like the the fantasy kind of like I have a sword and that's mm -hmm. way cooler than like. Yeah. But. Yeah. I, I I don't know if I can not concede this point. The lightsaber is pretty cool. Um, yes, yes. Phasers is just a glorified gun, but at the same time, we can actually like we're getting closer to inventing laser weapons. Do you have questions? Yeah. So these just sound really different. Why the, is it a comparison? That, that's a good question. Because mm. like I was researching, Star. I did my research, and um, it's about space and what what maybe what's cooler. It's the same number. It's the of geek letters. versus the nerd. It, it's yeah. kind of like that both geeks comparison. Both nerds. All of the above. Mm. I will say that they both have to deal with space. They both have some kind of hyperdrive, warp drive. Mm -hmm. They both have their uh, awesome ship. You have the Millennium Falcon and the Starship Enterprise. Although they go about it really differently. The Starship yeah. Enterprise is a baller. The Millennium Falcon is a piece of junk. Yeah. That's a big and round one. Death Star. Yeah and, and yeah, and then, okay, like, cool. the Death Star. <laughs> so, we have Death Star in Episode 4. Oh, we're gonna have Death Star in Episode 6. What are we gonna do for Episode 7? Oh, I got just a bigger Death Star. Death Star. Yeah, like, just get bigger? What? I gotta say, I was a little bit bummed about that in Episode 7. <sighs> they could have been a little more inventive. Yeah. The, uh, the missions of the two are a little bit different, too. So, like, yep. the general theme of Star Wars is gonna be good versus evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was reading Probably. That. Well, and I would even go farther and say tyranny and rebellion. And where Star Trek is going to be actually, I think a lot of its focus is on the good of humankind, like the human condition, yep. mm -hmm. and, and like human progress. Um, so it's definitely more leans uh, evolutionary. Um, so whatever that's worth. But nothing. It, it, nothing. <laughs> um, but it, it uh, yeah, it, it kind of leads to a little bit of the good of the human spirit too. Like, yep. The especially, pioneering. yeah, and, and you get especially when you get into TNG when you get uh, with Jean Luc Picard as the diplomatic captain who who will find any reason or any way to try to bring different species together and find common ground mm -hmm. and and live and coexist in peace. Um, the that effort of humankind to kind of bring people together and 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 do good together. Um, you're kind of always like striving and like encouraging that. So yeah. I don't know. I will say this for Star Wars, the villain. I looked online, the the most famous or the best villain or however you want to phrase it ever of all time, every site I looked at, top 100, top 25, top 10, mm -hmm. number one, Darth Vader. Yeah. And I think that's indisputable. Sure. I don't know what you the, have to... The villain in Star Trek is your... You know, you don't know say who Darth it. Vader is? What? No, whoa, Star whoa, whoa. Trek villain. Oh yeah, I don't know either. Human condition to naturally resist, like like. So it's your, more environment, maybe. It, it's more sense. like your 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 need to your aggressive nature. Well, this has been fun, Hannah. Pick a winner. Galaxy Quest. Yes. I, Can't really go wrong with that. <laughs> Have you seen it? Well, yeah. Okay. That's that's the winner for me because really the common the common little geek guy gets to save the day. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. man, I'm all about that. That's and true. I mean Tim Allen. They just really connect everybody. No, He's Alan just... Rickman. Moment, yeah. of, moment of silence for him. Okay. Love him. Just love him. Yep. Okay. We should tweet. This has been fun. Mm, yes. It's been long. Yes. Good work, everyone. Especially me. Yeah. You you really Oh, I was reading and the top reason for one guy why Star Wars was better was Carrie Fisher in a gold bikini chain to a fat alien. Yeah, I I definitely found that on the internet and well, I decided sorry. not to include it. So I, I'm secretly really thankful yeah. that you did. I mm -hmm. had to go there. Uh okay, at Chooch. Sorry it's a double up, but it's awesome. He's funny. Barista, can I get your name please? Me. John with an H. Three minutes later, Barista. Ha John. <laughs> Hate it when they do that. Has that ever really happened to you? No. J H O N. John. At Veronica Roth. Every time I see Tina Fey on TV, I feel this rush of affection, like we have some inside joke together, and she just obliquely referred to it. Hmm. I feel that way too. Also about Kristen Wiig and Amy Poehler. Watch... Shout out to you. We're gonna be BFFs. I'm funny. So funny. Yeah, that so, was an inside joke. So knowledgeable. Us. Oh. She knows. Yeah, sorry, I'm on the outside. You, of that. you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Bob, you got a tweet? I got one. At Jim Gaffigan. 
just explained to my kids that sometimes an evil bunny comes and eats kids' Easter candy on the night of Easter. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the secrets that we hold. What's it? Who's the guy that does the st Halloween where the parents eat the... Is it Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy uh, Fallon? Kimmel. Kimmel. That's always funny. Mm. That's good. One more? Yep. At Internet Hippo. My bank account is probably insecure because every time I look at it, I frown and shake my head. Poor guy. Mm-hmm. It's rough. At Kevin Farzad. Just laughed at a tweet but didn't like it. Oh my gosh. What I'm trying to say is trust no one on here. Mm, Twitter is a dangerous place. Yeah, you know, like sometimes you're not going to actually like something even though you laughed at it. And then they don't get the like and then their self-esteem goes down. Yep. At Jake Lack. Who's the idiot that made it killer whale and not panda shark? Ooh. Uh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. Well, this has been AI squared. And the panda shark. Cubed. Artificial. More artificial More than More artificial normal. than ever. So maybe Which it's is exactly Star Trek and Star Wars. A For squared sure. I? That makes no sense. I, don't know. I think we're done. Where's there was okay. a sign for Star Wars? May the force be with you. And you. And also you. Goodbye. Are you having any fun just sitting this here? This is boring. <laughs> really boring. <laughs> okay.